Amyloidosis is a group of hereditary and acquired diseases caused by extracellular deposition of abnormal proteins. The disease is classified and its treatment is based upon the specific type of protein that is deposited as amyloid in the tissue. So for example, AL-type amyloidosis is the result of an abnormal monotypic plasma cell population that is present in the bone marrow and that produces a monoclonal kappa or lambda immunoglobulin light chain that is then deposited in the tissue as amyloid. Typically, treatment for AL-type amyloidosis is chemotherapy to eradicate the plasma cell clone and uh, sometimes bone marrow transplantation. On the other hand, hereditary transthyretin-associated amyloidosis is typically treated by non-related donor liver transplant. Traditionally, the diagnosis of amyloidosis is based upon Congo red staining of tissue biopsy specimens. However, we now know that that is insufficient merely to demonstrate the presence of amyloid, but rather determining the amyloid protein type is critical for patient management. Typical methods to do this in the past have included immunofluorescence on kidney biopsy specimens or immunohistochemistry on other tissue types. However, we've found in our own practice, and the literature would support this, that immunohistochemistry in particular is fraught with problems of low specificity for individual amyloid types. So in our opinion, it is now inadequate to base clinical management on amyloid subtyping that has been determined on the basis of immunohistochemistry. Since 2009, we have been using mass spectrometry to accurately subtype amyloid proteins. This technique uses tissue biopsy specimens in which Congo red positive amyloid has been demonstrated. The deposits are microdissected from the glass slides. They are subjected to trypsin digestion. The trypsin digests are then analyzed by HPLC, tandem mass spectrometry, and the data from the mass spectrometer is further anal analyzed using a targeted proteomic technique specifically to demonstrate the amyloid protein type. With this approach, we have successfully identified almost all amyloid subtypes in tissue biopsy specimens, including AL type amyloid of either kappa or lambda light chain type, transthyretin associated amyloidosis, both hereditary and age related, SAA, gel solin, fibrinogen A alpha, lysozyme, and other amyloid subtypes. This assay has undergirded the clinical management of patients with amyloidosis at Mayo Clinic and is considered by our clinicians to be an essential step in the evaluation of patients with amyloidosis. We would strongly recommend that whenever you encounter a patient with a Congo red positive biopsy specimen, you subtype the amyloid using mass spectrometry in order to ensure the appropriate clinical management of the patient. Finally, if mass spectrometry identifies an amyloid subtype that is associated with hereditary amyloidosis, such as transthyretin, apolipoprotein A, uh, fibrinogen A alpha, or lysozyme, then we can also sequence the genes for those proteins to confirm the presence of a mutation and to provide guidance for genetic counseling for that patient and their family. Mayo Medical Laboratories offers both amyloid subtyping by mass spectrometry and a variety of genetic tests, specifically gene sequencing, for most common forms of hereditary amyloidosis.